What's going down? It's DJ Payne One. I want to make a beat completely from scratch. This could either go really well or really poorly. Let's let's find out. So of course I'm using Acid Pro 8, which is my DAW of choice. I'm looking forward to the new version though. These are all MIDI tracks. It's very easy to create MIDI here. And as you just create a new track and then insert a soft synth. I'm using a contact instrument, um, as you can see here, contact. For all three, it's the same one. And here's the very first, uh, it's, a, it's a horn that I played. That's the first layer, I have a lower octave here. And then I have a harmony up here. So I want to make this sound more organic. I, I can do more with audio than I can with MIDI. So I'm going to freeze this audio. Actually, I'm going to bounce the audio. I could, I could freeze the tracks. Um, that's a, that's a one click option, but I'm going to go to render as, and I already, I already rendered this. I'm just showing you. So I already rendered all these tracks. I didn't name them like a fool. But it's, it's really easy. If I just click this option, save each track as a separate file and hit save, it's going to automatically balance each individual track one by one. So it's great for a stems balance. It, it's really quite easy. And now I'm going to import those uh, stems right back in. Just click and drag. This time I'll actually name them. All right. trim the silence now I have the uh, eight measure loop here I am going to create a bus I'm gonna send all three of these to the same bus and on that bus I'm gonna throw on some effects so I just click uh, edit insert effects chain and that means whatever effect I put on this bus it's gonna affect all three of these tracks any any track that's being sent to that particular bus so I'm going to mess with isotope vinyl and some EQ and I'm going to maybe pitch shift uh, these tracks. I can either use an external plugin for that or because Acid automatically set it to a beat map, I can just click plus or minus. And that changes the pitch. So I have it sort of how I like it. some drums. I want some hard drums. I like uh, Decap's kit because you can see if you zoom way in that there's already a little bit of delay at the beginning of these hi-hats so, so it adds a swing. But if I wanted to add additional swing, which maybe I do, I'm just going to copy and paste them all and then click and drag them a little to the right. And then I'm going to add another layer of hi-hats. Okay, so let's say I like the pattern that I programmed, but I don't love this hi-hat for that particular purpose. I can just find another hi-hat I like and swap it out easily, just like that.
So now I'm going to use uh, this free VST called Grace. I get um, a sub base that I like. And I drag it right in. Change the parameters. Now I can uh, play it on my keyboard along with the glide. MIDI doesn't look right, I can just double click on the MIDI track, find the clip and edit it manually in the piano. I mean, I could make a whole beat just in the piano roll, but I like keys if you don't like keys, use the piano roll. take a quick break because my phone kept ringing so I replaced I don't want the brass chords anymore so I'm going to delete that I replaced it with choirs and you know I want to keep it simple it's just a two chord turnaround right now but I wanted to add something more um, something with a little more movement something that is an instrument not just a percussive element so you, you can't really lose the piano. I'm going to send this piano to the same bus as the horns so that it has that same uh, vinyl sound. <clears throat> I'm going to group all of my instruments together up top and isolate the drums so I can fine tune the drum mix. All right, so here we are. It's mixed, you know, fairly well, and this is what it sounds like intro into the chorus section. Mm -hmm. 